pretty warm in here actually in the studio so uh, I've been playing around with the lighting hoping things are getting better trying to upgrade the broadcast quality let's just call it that way um, but today we're gonna go over a strategy on how to deal with mortar and Tesla decks and uh, um, if you're not using a mortar you're probably your opponents are probably using an, an expo right so um, I don't know about you, but this actually kind of came up to me um, in a sense that um, I was in Arena 6 uh, a few months back and all I could remember is just getting hounded by people who had Mortars and all they would do is just Mortar, Mortar, Mortar. And if those people were lucky enough to have a mirror on hand, they would go double Mortar, right? So basically what they're doing is they're just getting free shots to your tower. Now I know that the Mortar itself isn't really like a troop card it's a building card so I mean a lot of people call it the dirty mortar or dirty mortar user and there's a lot of stigma against it um, I know there are some people in our clan that do use it uh, I personally don't I don't really agree with how it's used but um, it is a card that can be easily countered and a lot of people do tend to kind of protect their mortars with um, with other such cards like a Tesla or a Cannon or something like that. So basically what this video is, is just going to show you exactly how do we counter it and how do we take the victory. So we're doing this live. I don't really believe too much in pre-recorded matches, although we do broadcast them uh, to illustrate a point. But I mean, there's always, there's always um, live. So I mean, if my clan mates really want to screw me over on this tutorial video, then it's totally their uh, their choice there. All right, so uh, oh, I got a free chest. We'll take a look at that after after this tutorial. So um, if you're in a clan, always donate to your friends. I mean, it's free gold, right? It's free gold. So uh, let's go ahead and start a friendly battle. I'm going to start one with uh, Rosabelle, uh, Mortar plus Tesla. Oh, excuse me. Always gotta donate. If your friends are donating, you gotta donate back to them, right? Um, okay, so we're gonna go Tesla plus Mortar. Right? Now, um, my clan has a habit of sniping matches, so hopefully we actually do get Roosevelt. <clears throat> and we did! Okay, so um, she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna play her Mortar deck. And I just want you guys to look closely how we sort of approach this, right? So far, nothing's being played here, so we do want to get this going. So you can see that they usually start off with the Tesla because they want to protect it, right? So my personal way is just sending off a dragon. The dragon is pretty tanky, right? If you've got a baby dragon, you send that off. And then on top of that, you send off your barbarians, and you got to do some splash damage with that. That's it. See, what they're doing right now is they're, they're trying to counter it, but we've taken care of their Mortar, we give them a thanks, even a thumbs up, and we drop ourselves a Goblin Hut. Why is the Goblin Hut important, guys? Right? The Goblin Hut, when Mortars get sent out, they actually target the individual Goblins if there are, like, uh, yeah, they target the individual Goblins, so it does stall them. Right, let me show you another way. So let's say they're setting up another mortar setup. Uh, what you can do is you can you can always drop a poison if you have one. And as you can see, they've dropped some uh, goblins. And it's going after my goblins. But what we're going to do is we're going to drop a pod now. Take a look here. The pod goes straight for the mortar. Takes it out. We give him a thank you. And off it goes. Straight for the tank. So, um... This kind of hates yourself when it comes to Mortar users because they are going to heavily rely on this card, right? Because it does direct damage to their uh, to their opponent's tower. So we've got, we've got them kind of picking the same side and it looks like they're trying to protect their tower here, which totally understandable. We're going to go ahead and send them some Barbarians and some Fire Spirits. Fire Spirits got taken out really quick. But as you can see, the Mortar doesn't even pay attention to the tower. It pays attention to your troops that are being sent out. So if you know you've got a Mortar player, always play like a hut or something to keep it distracted. So, again, your baby dragon is something that's awesome because it's a very good target. And usually, the Mortar people don't really have many people to protect themselves other than, say, a Tesla or a 
infernal tower, and now I'm just causing a big push. Right? This is just a gigantic push. Now they're playing their they're playing their really target defensively. Nice Here's the fireball. And that's gonna take it off. Thumbs up and thanks. You always gotta thank your opponent whenever they play the mortar, because the mortar is something that's really easy to count, and there should be no reason for that. As you can see, we've damage all over the place. We can even drop some hard hands right on their sides as we take out the towers. It looks like they've entered their they've their more time. They've taken out the first one, they say hey, give him thumbs up, and there you go. Match over. That's it. We're gonna give him a good game and another thumbs up. Well played. Thank you, Roosevelt, for that. So guys, uh, that's pretty much how you counter how you counter the uh, the Tesla and Mortar, it does work for Expos. Expos kind of got nerfed because they have like a longer span to initiate. Um, if you're you're probably wondering, okay, well, what's the point of having these cards then? Well, I mean, you can play them defensively. You can always play your Mortars behind your towers. You can always put them in the middle so they can take out ground troops, kind of like a bomb tower. They do have a reduced time span. I think it's 40 seconds, I'm not quite sure, but you can use them for defense purposes. But most commonly, they are seen in um, offensive mode, which personally I don't really agree with. I don't really like it, but um, it's a card. It's a legitimate strategy. What are you going to do? So let's go ahead and open this free chest. I know you guys are uh, looking at it intently. There's, I don't know, let's see what we get. 84 gold, not too bad. You got the Infernal Tower, didn't really need it, and then some Royal Giants. So I'm actually thinking of making another video with regards to um, how to counter things like Hogs, Royal Giants, because I know that um, when you go in the higher arenas, like Arena 7, Arena 8, you're going to see a ton of Hogs and a ton of Royal Giants, um, and Sparkies as well. We should probably do a Sparky video too, what do you guys think? Um, anyways, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm actually quite new to the YouTube scene, um, not much of a video editing person, so Every single like, every single comment, every single subscription I get is is a huge like up for me. I mean, I think we hit like 51 subscribers, and uh, that actually really motivates me to keep producing uh, new content for you guys every day. And what better game to do it than for Clash Royale? So, thanks so much, and see you in the next video.